On 8th of February 2022, the long-awaited name of the new Cunard ship was revealed, and that name is Queen Anne. This is in line with recent traditions for Cunard, with the name continuing its Queen prefix that has been the norm since Coronia retired in late 2004. If we look back at history, the majority of Cunard's 249 ships wore the names ending in IA, most of which were named after ancient Roman provinces. Some famous names include Britannia, Carpathia, Lusitania, Aquitania and Mauritania. In 1934, after the merger of Cunard and White Star, the RMS Queen Mary was named after Mary of Teck, Queen Consort of King George V, and it started a new line of Queen-class liners. Her sister ship, Queen Elizabeth, entered passenger service after World War II and was named after Elizabeth Bowes Lion, the Queen Consort of King George VI. But Cunard retained the IA names thereafter until the introduction of Queen Elizabeth II, or QE II, in 1967. At this point, the IA names were dropped. Cunard introduced a less uniformed naming convention, with Cunard Ambassador, Cunard Adventurer, Cunard Countess and Cunard Princess entering service throughout the 1970s. These names had no link to the traditional IA names, and were followed by a plethora of different naming styles, from Vistafjord and Sagafjord to Royal Viking Sun. In 1999, Vistafjord was renamed Coronia, reinstating the IA names. Cunard's ocean liner, Queen Mary II, and two cruise ships, Queen Victoria and Queen Elizabeth, all feature the Queen prefix. This led many people to believe that the new Cunarder, due to enter service in 2023, would be named Queen Anne. As many suspected, this was the case, and the ship features a name that, while not revolutionary, fits into the existing style and starts an interesting new chapter in the history of this illustrious line. If you'd like to know more about the history of the names of the Cunard Queens, check out the video I did on that subject in the info card or the description below. Thanks so much for watching. What did you think of the name of the new Cunard ship? Let me know in the comments below. And until next time, I hope to see you on board.